Okay. I've been struggling with the concept of this video, but here I am. We're gonna talk about why I'm here on YouTube. But first, I'll do a little brief history. You know, just like I did with the servers, right? <laughs> this one actually is brief though. It's not gonna be three minutes long. But I do have to say, I've been struggling with the concept of this video because uh, talking about myself is not something I'm necessarily used to doing. It's not usually just about me. It's usually about a, a car review. It's usually about a game. You know, there's something that I focus on to try to help other people. It's not usually about me. So I figured I'd try to give you guys a little something about me if you're at all interested in ignoring the messy ass room. And I know it's a disaster. I've been moving stuff around and I just made a mess. So my first ever game new video I released back in November 12th of 2012. Yeah, it's been a little while. Now I don't know what you're thinking. This channel doesn't exactly go back that far. I know. That's because this is a new channel. I'm talking about my old channel at this point. And you would never guess what game it was on. Need for Speed World. Yeah, I'm talking about when the game was originally out and it was the most horrible quality that you'll ever see. It used copyrighted music. It was running at 15 frames a second. And I didn't even talk. I typed everything down on a little notepad so you could see what the hell I'm trying to say. The first four gaming videos were all on Need for Speed World. My first four videos in general weren't on Need for Speed World. They weren't even on games. They were on a songs lyric videos and stuff like that you know i'm just getting into it but it was during this time that i realized that editing is something i'm definitely interested in because between february 2013 and april of 2014 i didn't make any gaming videos i focused primarily on video projects i was experimenting i was seeing what i like to do I, and a lot of it was just you know recording stuff and editing it but i was discovering that this is what i wanted to do this is what i love to do on april 14 2014 i went back to making game videos and you, i started out with bmg drive it just so happens to be another car game and the video just after that was on a game called star trek online i still occasionally play that game but i that was on that was back in also 2014 it happened to be and that was the first game that i used my voice in here we're gonna be combating creatures Billions. Yeah, the audio, that I'm quality sure was just right. awful. Sure just like everything on that channel. <laughs> now, I didn't start taking the YouTube thing a little seriously until May 15th, 2015. Now, it, here was the problem with how I started. In, in January 14th, 2015, my stepdad had passed away and I was close to him. He was like a father to me. And I had to be the one to end up finding his body. And it wasn't a pretty scene. It was, he accidentally shot himself. And like I said, was it pretty? He was on Xanax, he was on alcohol in his system. Chances are he had no idea what the hell he was doing with a loaded gun. He, they said that from what it looked like he was trying to clean it while it was fully loaded. Now, I don't know what was going through his head, and, and um, we'll never know, but the reason why it was, ob that's obviously part of the reason why it was so obvious that it was a problem that I was trying to start a YouTube channel this time. It was still fresh in my mind. I was struggling mentally. You know, I wasn't all there. The other problem with how I was trying to start the YouTube channel or why I was trying to start taking it seriously was the fact that my motivation was primarily money. I didn't think about anything else. I was struggling so much. It, all I wanted it, I wanted success mostly because of money. You know, through the years, you know, that channel ended up going 10 years without pretty much any success. There was one popular video and that one got, I want to say 30,000 views at most. Everything else didn't barely, it didn't even break 100. It was the motivation. It was why I was there. That was the problem. That's why that channel went nowhere. It wasn't until nine years into it that how I felt about doing what I was doing changed. And I don't know why it took me so damn long. It took a very long time for me to get over a lot of what I went through, you know, early on. After 10 years of that channel, I decided to shut it down and start a new one. Cause that's when I, my, motiv my motivations changed. And, you know, I, I focused mainly on wanting to help other people, put a smile on people's face, you know, just being myself, doing what I love, making videos. Cause editing videos has been a passion for me since I was 16 years old. I'm 29 now. Okay. You know how old I feel? I haven't stopped editing videos. I mean, I've had breaks here and there, you know, hiatus. They're, they're Recording and upload schedule for that channel was absolutely horrendous. There was no schedule. Now I do what I do because I love what I do. Regardless of the fact that I don't make any money from it. I love making videos. It's always been the thing I love. I said that already multiple times. But I can't just stress that point enough. And obviously, I'm here to help. Okay, I want to make people's days better. 
I want to make people laugh. I want to make people smile. I want to somehow benefit the day and make their days better, help them with whatever the hell game it is that I'm doing. Like, that's why I make, that's why I made that server video. That's why I review servers. That's why I review cars. You know, it's a small thing that I'm doing here. But if it's helping even a little bit out of somebody's day, then as far as I'm concerned, I'm succeeding at what I do. This channel may never be that big, but I'm not gonna stop uploading just because of that. I'm not gonna just give up one day because my channel got nowhere. Now, would it be a huge benefit if it did go somewhere? Yes, absolutely. You know how awesome it would be to live off what I love doing? There's always a lot going on through my head when it comes to this stuff. I had a crisis a little while back about whether or not what I'm doing here is why I'm here and it always comes back to the same answer what I just told you for a while making videos was more of a distraction because of what I was feeling now it's more than that I can honestly say if it wasn't for video editing I would not be here of course I can also thank my friends for that <laughs> buddy Josh and man's a legend I say this life he saved mine both ways you know I actually sometimes wonder how I still have friends I get so into it sometimes you ever you ever hear that song chlorine by 21 pilots he's talking about chlorine he's, he's describing it as his addiction it's one of those drugs so it's a drug essentially where if you have too much it'll kill you but if you have the right balance it's healthy for you and that's essentially what this is I do sometimes put a little too much time into this and I don't mean to so I definitely gotta thank my friends <laughs> for being around even though I had the tendency to go silent and you don't hear anything from me a little while but anyway thanks for watching hope you were interested in this video hope you enjoyed the video it might not have been enjoyable because I kind of did go on a rant for a little bit there I didn't need to I have a partial script I try to make this as real as possible so I'm just talking about like points when I started my videos and stuff like that anyway I'll see you guys out there Deuces!